hello everyone i'm amanda welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'll be making this flower crochet coaster it's very easy and simple it is beginners level if you know your single crochet half double crochet double crochet stitches how you make a magic circle slip knot it's just basics so yeah it's going to be really easy and i've already made this one and i really liked how the final look is so i have used this color thread i'll say it's thread because it's only got to ply like usually how it's said and it's i've used this from vardaman that is this is an indian brand vardaman it's a very well known brand so i've taken this and it's uh the hook number is given 12 years so i'm not very sure i think this is for knitting but crochet hook is not mentioned that is i think uh, i'll say that's a bit of a negative point or something like you know i don't like it so they should mention what crochet hook should be used because i have 3.5 and all these kind of hooks so i don't know if there is a 12 number hook if it is i think it's too big so i don't think i think this is for knitting and it's 100 percent acrylic and it's 100 grams 300 meters and this is the serial number and the shade number is HLH014 and I'll be mentioning it in the description box as well so you need your scissors I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook because I want it a little more big and thick and your tapestry needle so let's get started so to begin you can either chain 5 and slip stitch in the first uh, chain to form a ring or you can go with a magic circle I'll go with the magic circle because it gives it a better finish at the circle it gives it a better finishing and you don't have a big gap for the circle so once you have your magic ring you're gonna chain two we already chained one so we're gonna chain two and in this we are going to make so this chain 2 counts as a half double crochet we are going to make 11 half double crochet in this ring so you have to yarn over go in the ring yarn over and pull you have 3 loops on the hook you are going to yarn over and pull through all 3 and that is a half double crochet so we will make another one yarn over and pull you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three so this is a half double crochet so go ahead and make 11 half double crochet and slip stitch in the chain 2 and I'll meet you at the end and chain 2 counts as a first half double crochet so we have a total of 12 half double crochets counting the chain so I have slip stitched in my starting chain 2 and I'm going to chain 2 again and you're going to count this counts as a half double crochet and we're going to make half double crochet in that same stitch again okay i'm going to make it in the same stitch now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make <coughs> two half double crochets in the next stitches in all the next stitches i'm going to make two half double crochet in each stitch so you should have a total of 24 half double crochet and then once you're on the last and you make two half double crochet in the last stitch slip stitch in the chain two and i'll meet you on round three so i finished with my second round and i slip stitched in the first um, chain space and so now what I'm going to do is in my third round I'm going to chain three one two and three once you chain 
3 this counts as a double crochet you're going to chain 2 and 1 double crochet in the same stitch okay so you're going to go in that same stitch and make a double crochet so that's our V this is a V stitch so now you're going to skip the next stitch and one double crochet chain to one double crochet in the next stitch as you can see here we made a v stitch we skipped one stitch then we made a v in the next stitch skip the next stitch and v in the next stitch so we're going to skip our next stitch that is the small stitch here and i'm going to go in the next stitch and make a v that is a double crochet chain 2 and 1 double crochet into the same stitch so continue doing this skip one stitch and in the next stitch make a V and continue doing you should have a total of 12 and and then make a slip stitch on top of the chain 3 and I'll meet you there so I finished my third round 1 2 3 and I slip stitch in the chain 3 now we're going to slip stitch in the chain 2 space that is our fourth round we're going to slip stitch in a chain 2 space and we're going to chain 3 and this counts as our double crochet now once you chain 3 this will count as a double crochet 3 together so since we've already chained 3 we are going to double crochet Two together that means you double crochet you have three loops then you yarn over two you have two loops don't finish it you're going to yarn over again and make another double crochet you have four loops yarn over two now you have three you're going to yarn over all the three loops so that is a double crochet two together you're going to chain three one two three and now we're going to make a double crochet three together in the same chain two space so yarn over Go into the same space, yarn over and pull, you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 2, you will have 2 loops on your hook. Yarn over, go back in that space, yarn over and pull through, you have 4 loops, yarn over and pull through 2, you have 3 loops. Yarn over and go into the same space, yarn over and pull, you have 5, yarn over and pull through 2, you will have 4 and now you yarn over and pull through all the 4 and chain 1. So that's a double crochet three together so in every chain two space you're going to do a double crochet three together okay that's one two and three we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to make one more double crochet three together in that same chain 2 space pull through all the loops chain 1 so now in each chain 2 space double crochet 3 together chain 3 double crochet 3 together in the same space and then chain 1 and do that all round and slip stitch in the double crochet 2 together and I'll meet you over there so I have done my round and I have 12 of these double crochet chain 3 double crochet this pattern like this this cluster I'll say so I have a total of 12 so I have slip stitched in the double crochet two together now for the fifth round I'm going to slip stitch in the chain 3 space and I'm going to chain 3 and this counts as a double crochet and now I'm going to go ahead and make five double crochets into that same space. One, two, three, four, and five. Once you made five double crochets in that chain three space. In the chain one space that is this you're going to make two single crochet okay 
after this you are going to make six double crochet in the next chain three space and two single crochets in the chain one space now when you come at the end over here you are going to make two single crochet and slip stitch in the chain three as we joined and we are going to chain one and fasten off so continue doing this six double crochet in the chain three space two single crochet in the chain one space and i'll meet you at the end so i've done i finished that round and i've done a slip stitch and chained one and cut off my yarn and now i'm going to hide these ends so you can make these coasters in a set of four or five or six according the dining table seating that you have or for your friend it's very simple you can use different colors you can even make this pink or this yellow green you know you can always change each row color and add a different color you can always experiment with different colors i thought of doing that but then i'll be making few more patterns so i thought i'll do that in the next one so this is how pretty does our coaster look so i'll be making i think i'll be making six like this and it's very easy i hope you liked my video and if so then let me know in my comment section how you liked my video and if you have made any don't forget to tag me on my crochet page and yes one more thing when you're cutting these ends off always collect them and keep because in future when you're making crochet any stuff toy or you know amorigami um, some word i can never get it right so these are used for stuffing for filling in that so always save these collect them and keep so if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed as yet don't forget to subscribe like and share till then i'll meet you in my next video till then take care bye bye and don't forget to mask up